The third bout of the evening featured a young man from Chavez Karate, Kenny Maldonado. And let's go to that action right now. We'll take a look at that fight. This is Isaac Esquibel. He fights for the 11th Street Gym in Farmington. And he's, this bout will be in the 75-pound weight division. These are 12- and 13-year-olds. It'll be Isaac Esquivel from Farmington, New Mexico, taking on Albuquerque's own Kenny Maldonado out of Chavez Karate. So here we go now. And round one is underway here at the Bar Barelas Community Center in Albuquerque. This is Dan Cisneros at ringside. And immediately, you see uh, Kenny Maldonado getting it on here uh, with his opponent, Isaac Esquivel from Farmington. Kenny Maldonado, the young man in the red, and you see him now scoring with some good body shots. And his opponent, Isaac Esquivel from the 11th Street Gym in Farmington, New Mexico, coming right back. And there you see Maldonado coming, trying to shoot those left hands, and uh, Isaac Esquivel coming forward. We'd like to thank everyone for joining us tonight on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Sitting here at ringside, we have a pretty good crowd here. And it looks like it's going to be a nice, uh, fun night of boxing. The first two fights were exciting. And right now, you see Maldonado out of Chavez Karate in Albuquerque coming forward with, a, with both hands moving. Yeah. Isaac Esquivel trying to keep him off. And there's a warning now from referee Al Martinez to uh, Maldonado. And now Isaac Esquivel tried to come in with a lunge in with a left hand, and uh, Maldonado was waiting for him. And now Kenny Maldonado again going to the body. Well trained in boxing, this young man. He's a fine kickboxer and he's really doing some good work working on that body. And there you see Esquivel coming back with the left hand. It was partially blocked now from Maldonado. Kenny misses with a left hand. Oh, and Isaac Esquivel tries to shoot that right hand in and Maldonado answers him right back. Kenny Maldonado now working with both hands. And that ends the first round, the one minute rounds here. Exciting amateur boxing and then Melkor Chavez now will talk to his man, Kenny Maldonado in the red, all red. You're watching the Eight Count Boxing Hour here on Community Cable Channel 27 in Albuquerque. Once again, this is Dan Cisneros at ringside. We've got a good show lined up for you. We'll show you some highlights from some of the bouts on tonight's card. And we will also show you some complete boxing action here at the Barelas Community Center. So a good opening round, plenty of action. Kenny Maldonado staying a little busier, very smartly going to the body, not wasting any time and they're fighting in the 75 pound weight division. These are 12 and 13 year olds. Isaac Esquibel, who's highly touted out of Farmington. His uh, coach was telling us here before the fight that uh, we were gonna be in for a real treat, that he was really well trained and had been coming along real well. And on the other hand, Kenny Maldonado, who we have seen in action before, Trained by uh, Melkor Chavez, of course, he will be in top shape and ready to go. So we start the second round here. This bout scheduled for three, and Esquivel comes out shooting the right. Maldonado right back now with both hands, as you can see. Oh, and a good right hand by Esquivel. Kenny Maldonado now swinging with both hands back to the body. Kenny Maldonado staying to the body against his taller opponent. A very smart move on his part. There's a good left hand that looks like he had Esquivel hurt a little bit now. And uh, Isaac Esquivel comes back, and both men now swinging. Esquivel with his back on the ropes. And he comes back with another left hand, and Kenny Maldonado just steps back very calmly, doing some real nice work here. Kenny Maldonado, who you see in the all red with the gold trim, fighting for Chavez Karate in Albuquerque. And there's a good right hand to the body now from Esquivel. So both men are starting to go to the body, and it's going to be a matter of attrition. As the two tie up, referee Al Martinez separates them. He's telling Esquivel now to stop. <laughs> I don't know if he's telling him to quit uh, grabbing and clutching or if he's talking about the wild shots, but there's a good right hand from Esquivel. And Maldonado comes back with a left hand and down goes Isaac Esquivel. I believe it was a slip. Yes, it was. The referee rules it a slip and the action continues. And now Maldonado walks into a right hand as he delivers a right. Both hands now working to the body again by Kenny Maldonado. And Esquivel, as you can see, kind of just covering up here, trying to weather the storm. Kenny Maldonado has been very aggressive. And again, Esquibel slips down at the bell. So the end of the second round, a good round of action. I think we have to give that one to Kenny Maldonado, who you see now in the corner with his trainer, uh, Melchor Chavez, doing a real good job. Maldonado looks pretty sharp tonight, he's staying strong. He looks like he's in top shape. Esquibel, who has the longer reach and height advantage, has not really been able to use it to his advantage as Maldonado has been able to get inside and go to the body, a very smart tactic on the part of young Kenny Maldonado, who you see here 
being talked to by his trainer. That's so once again Melchor Chavez. We've got a tremendous lineup of boxing tonight. Now we look into the corner of Isaac Esquivel from Farmington and his trainer giving him some instructions now on what to do. And I think he's telling him, looked like he was telling him when Maldonado comes in, uh, winging wide to the body to shoot up the middle straight ahead and get right to him. And we'll see if Isaac Esquivel can carry out those orders. We've got some good bouts coming up tonight for you. A little later on, we will show you a very exciting main event. Jesus Banuelos Jr., the state Golden Gloves champion, will be taking on in a rematch Brian Garcia from the Showdown Boxing Club in Santa Fe. And right now you're looking at Kenny Maldonado again, banging to the body, scoring points, staying busy and probably winning the round up to this point. Isaac Esquivel trying to load up and there's a big right hand that misses Maldonado. So Isaac Esquivel looks like he's trying to go with the big shot and Maldonado smartly staying active. In amateur boxing, you've got to continue to land the shots. Again, Maldonado being aggressive, keeping his hands moving. And now Esquivel is in a little trouble again, bending down and just taking the shots of Maldonado. Isaac Esquivel should not be in that posture. He's allowing Kenny Maldonado to score a lot of points. Now you see Kenny just kind of measuring his man now. Kenny Maldonado stalking his man here again, banging to the body, scoring the big points. And Isaac Esquivel, I don't know if he's tired or hurt, or if he's trying to just let Maldonado wear himself down and then come on strong, but these are short rounds, so you've got to stay busy and do all you can. It looks like Esquivel's trying to bait the trap, and there it was, the big right hand, but not even close. Kenny Maldonado slipping that shot. And now Maldonado comes in again with those left hands to the body, both hands. Uh, now Maldonado again with some nice shots to the body, staying right on top of his man, not giving Esquivel a chance, and that ends the fight. So the third round is over, beautiful work, and I definitely see the fight going to Kenny Maldonado, but again, that will be up to the judges. So good action to open our eight count boxing hour, the first complete bout. You saw the highlights earlier, but uh, this fight, Isaac Esquivel and Kenny Maldonado, and now let's go up to the ring announcer for the decision. So Kenny Maldonado out of Chavez Karate wins this opening bout. We've got a lot more in store for you, including that exciting fight with Brian Garcia, and uh, Jesus Banuelos Jr. But let's go to some more highlight footage. <laughs> 